so I'm home. I have a story time for you guys. I finally like calmed down. <laughs> I honestly think I just experienced something that was going to either be a kidnapping, something linked to sex trafficking or something. Like in all honesty, <laughs> I'm not being dramatic. I can fly. Gracie and I are so excited to be working with EF Ultimate Break. We are traveling to the Greek Islands May 17th through the 29th of 2020, and we want you guys to come with us. Check the description below to join our Facebook group to learn more and to sign up. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Hey. <laughs> I just got back from my 8 a.m., got ready for the day. So, um, yeah, it is 9.30. I'm about to leave to actually go get my flu shot because, you know flu season. Normally I don't get flu shots, but since I'm visiting, um, since I'm going home next weekend, I'm visiting my grandpa and he's still in recovery modes from his kidney transplant. Um, and we're, and everyone who's like visiting him is required to have a flu shot. So that's what's up. I actually tried going yesterday, but something with my insurance was, I don't know. My insurance is being weird lately, but we're going to try again this morning. So we're going to go there and then at 11, I'm actually going to one of my friend's dance practices because I'm interviewing her for a project that I'm doing. It's actually my final project for one of my classes. So I'm filming her. Um, that is at 11.15. I'm basically just getting my life together today. I'm starting strong. We're getting stuff done. We're getting everything together and organized. And yeah, I changed my wallpaper this morning to I can and I will because I can and I will get all my stuff done today. <laughs> I currently have a pile of stuff over there that I need to clean up, but I just, I'm not really feeling doing that right now. Plus I don't really have the time. I'll do that when I get back. So a little mini story time. I made a very huge decision last night or very impulse decision meaning I spent a lot of money on something that I didn't do a lot of research on, but I was just said, hey, let's do it. I bought a new lens, a new vlogging lens. It's the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4. And they finally have the mount for my camera because they used to only have the Sony E mount and something else. They came out with the EFM mount, which is what my Canon M50 is. So, which is the camera that I'm vlogging on now. Don't know what it's gonna come in because I ordered it off of B&H Photo, but uh, this is coming soon. And I don't really know what that means. It's just gonna be really good quality and really gonna up the quality of my vlog, so yeah. I need my Giganto Humongo. Here we are. Welcome to my camera bag that is a mess. Okay, I think that's it. Yes, okay. Okay, so I'm about to go to Bama Nutrition Studio to get a meal replacement shake. They have new flavors, like Christmas flavors, and so I'm really wanting to try it. I'm so excited. I haven't been there in so long. I used to get them literally all the time but they're kind of expensive, but it's fine. Um, basically, it's just meal replacement shakes. They also have like loaded teas. I'm not a huge fan of their teas. Just personally, I like their shakes just because it has more flavor and everything. And there's so much protein in there. So yeah, gonna go there. It's literally just down the street. So let's go. Decided I was going to get the Christmas cookie one, but I was like, I don't know if I'm in the mood for like something super, super sweet. Like I was kind of wanting the coffee one, the one that I usually get. I'm like, no, Maddie, you gotta change it up, get something different. So I got the white chocolate peppermint, wait, white chocolate peppermint latte. Yes. And I literally just said I don't want something sweet and this is so sweet, but it's really good. It's got like a little hint of peppermint. Mm. Basically what this is, is just ice, water, um peppermint syrup and whatever kind of protein powder that they use to make the flavor 
that is it. I'm procrastinating. I need to go to CVS to hopefully, hopefully get my flu shot. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't because. Okay, so I got to CVS and the girl said that my insurance still didn't approve it from yesterday. So I decided to walk around, grab some gummies because I kind of ran out, but I'm kind of just waiting for the insurance company to call me back and then we'll be good to go. Flu shot's done. It's in this arm. I would show you, but I don't feel like taking off my jacket. And low key, <laughs> It kind of hurt a little bit. I, shots don't bother me at all, but like, like the initial like injection. But then when she actually pushes whatever medicine is in there, I'm gonna have a sore arm tomorrow. It's now 10:40, and I'm going. I'm now going to meet Brooklyn at um, her dance practice. So this should be interesting filming her. I'm gonna be like that weirdo creep that's like filming her dance practice, but it's fine. All right, that was fun. I was kind of nervous because I felt weird like intruding on their practice, but they're very accepting and chill about it, so we're good. Um, it really brought me back to the whole high school days when I was on rosettes, like people who dance on the field and like kick or whatever. Those were the days. <laughs> but anyway, so now I think, oh, they're gonna call me crazy. I might go get a coffee. <laughs> I really just want a coffee, okay? Even though all I've had today was like liquid but okay I changed my mind I don't even think I have time to get coffee because I forgot I'm doing something tonight um, for Sydney's birthday so my arm's already sore <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna go ahead go home and film or edit my bad to get all this stuff done I'm just gonna go back home I don't need to wait in line for that coffee that line is way too long but let's go you really gotta sit right there. <laughs> it's every day, I swear. For lunch, or is it lunch? Yeah, for lunch, it's, it's 12.20 now. This is from Nothing But Noodles. It's just noodles with mushrooms, bean sprouts, green onion, and that's literally it. So, gonna have some of this all while editing one of my videos that I have to get up today, along with another vlog, so. Yes. So I always get questions over how I made this background. It's literally just pig monkey. That's what I use. That's what I use to make my thumbnails. So yeah, it kind of took me like several hours to make this whole thing, not gonna lie. But I haven't changed it in over a year, so yay. Oh wow, nothing feels better than getting everything on your to-do list done. <laughs> I got 100 on my exam. That's the first 100 I've gotten on the, an exam in this class, so that's pretty cool. I want to take her out for another walk. But I hear the train going and she doesn't like the train. Oh wait, I have an idea of where to go. It's by the river. I just don't want to go there alone. I'm gonna see if anyone would like to go with me. <laughs> so I'm doing something. Oh wait, did I? I might have already said it. I don't know, maybe this is, do you ever like think like, <laughs> Do you ever think like, oh, I'm about to say this, but then think you've already said it, but really you've just thought it so many times to where you think you actually said it, but you didn't? That probably made no sense, but if that's ever happened to you, then you do understand. Anyway, I'm prob I don't know if I'm repeating myself or not, but I'm selling my Louis Vuitton purse. This is going bye-bye. Because I don't use this enough, and I just bought myself a lens that was so expensive, and I'm kind of wanting to get my money back, and I've been talking about wanting to sell my purse anyway, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because I'm asking for another purse for Christmas, but it's like an eighth of this, so like I'm gonna sell it. I've been saying it for months. I just have been too lazy to take pictures of it, which is stupid. It takes like two seconds. And yeah, like I still have the box that came in, the box, the bag, all of it. So like, if you're interested, let me know. So I finished 
the whole bag selling thing, I decided to sell it on Instagram because I don't want to sell it on something like Poshmark or whatever and then them get a percentage of it because that's kind of a lot and I just, I don't know, like I, I paid my own money for that. I feel like I should get some of it back on my own and I'm just going to use my Instagram to sell it. Anyway, so I figured out a place to take Marley. We're going to go on a little walk. I'm at this park. And I let Marley out for a little bit, but I noticed she was shaking and I can't tell if she's like cold or if she's scared because it's chilly out here. Like it, I'm pretty cold. She looks like she wants to get out of the um, stroller, but then whenever I do, she looks all scared. But like whenever I'm at home, we let her outside and we literally live on the street. So like the sound of the cars don't really bother her. So I don't know if she's scared or if she's cold. So I'm home. I have a story time for you guys. I'm finally like calmed down. <laughs> I honestly think I just experienced something that was going to either be a kidnapping, something linked to sex trafficking or something. Like in all honesty, I'm not being dramatic. I've, I've taken Marley out in this park next to my apartment several times and I go by myself because like I live by myself which is not the smartest thing to do. The park that I go to, there's always kids running around, there's always people walking their dogs, there's events going on over there all the time so there's always people around. It's also on like not a main road but it's like on a busy road so there's people there all the time and like I'm a cautious person like I'm always looking around making sure everything's good whatever nothing suspicious and Marley's doing fine. I actually took her out and like started walking her on the leash just so she was able to explore a little bit. I'm there, hanging out, whatever. Called my mom and talked to her for a little bit. As I'm walking Marley, I'm looking at the main road just watching all the cars go by and I noticed that this one truck was slowing down. I was like, why is he slowing down? So I looked on the other side of the road. I was like, oh, maybe he's waiting to turn left because it's like a one way road like a one lane road. So it's like one lane going this way, one lane going this way. And so there's cars passing by and it was like, maybe he's just waiting to turn left. And the cars going in the opposite direction, like there were none that he could have been waiting on. And he just was stopped. I was like, what the heck? So it's, I was kind of standing here and the truck was like stopped like right here. So it wasn't like right here, you know, like right in front of me, but it was like, he could see where I was. Then he pulled up just a little bit in a direction where he was behind all of these trees where I wasn't really able to see who was inside the car, but he could see me. I wasn't, I, this is where panic started to settle in. I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. I was like, maybe I'm just like being paranoid, whatever. And I was, um, finally two cars behind the truck was pulling up. So then obviously he had to keep moving. And so where the park was, here's like the busy main road. There's another road on the other side of the park um, where people go to park to go to the park. <laughs> and I was like, if he turns right on this road, like I'm screwed, I'm leaving, like I'm throwing Marley in here and we're going home. Sure enough, he turns right. And so I grab Marley, I put her in the stroller, but like in a calm manner. So I'm not like freaking out and he's not like, oh, go get her, whatever, whatever. If he, she has a team, I don't even know. And so I put her in, I didn't even bother to take the leash off because like who has time for that whenever you're about to get taken? <laughs> um, that's not a funny joke. Anyway, I start walking towards the main road, about to turn left and I was like, wait, I can't like go home. Like I'm not gonna go to my apartment where I live to figure out where, like for him to figure out where I live. I decided to do a little U-turn and go up this gravel road in the park still, but towards this family that also had like multiple kids with them. There's a mom and a dad. And then there's also just like this other teenager sitting there. And so as I'm walking up the gravel, the truck is still stopped, like not even parked. Like he's still on the road, just stopped. And then I notice this lady walk and walk across and then starts walking towards me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what if she's like with this person? She had these huge headphones on and um, 
like a pretty thick vest, long sleeves. I mean, yeah, it was chilly outside, but it kind of looked like she was wired. I don't, I don't know. Maybe she was just a person walking in the park. But the thing is, while I was with Marley, like walking around, whatever, like we made eye contact several times, but I thought it was just because like, I literally am walking my cat and that's so abnormal. So I thought she was just kind of like, what the heck? So she could have been out in the park talking to these people on her headphones with the people in the truck. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, as she started walking towards me, I was like, I, what, what do you do? I don't know. But then she took a little detour and went down some random woods area. And I was like, what the heck? This is where my mind crossed. I'm like, I'm about to call 911, tell them like minor situation and be like, hey, I think this person is following me, trying to take me or something. I'm gonna keep you on the line until I get somewhere safe. Like I, I was seconds away from doing that. And then my dad called me back and I was like, hello. <laughs> and so I kind of was just talking to him for a little bit. He could tell something was a little off. And so I was kind of just explaining to him what was happening as I was walking back home. Um, but nothing happened. The truck eventually like went away after my dad called me or a little bit before my dad called me. And I was trying to see if it went down another road just to like hide himself better, but still able to see me. I'm not <laughs> coming back here again. You see on Twitter, all these girls getting kidnapped, taken, sex trafficked, like, uh-uh, nuh-uh. I, I, I can't risk that. I'm pretty sure that's Marley, but I'm so bad. <sighs> Marley. It was just Marley. I'm just, I'm still just like kind of shaken by that. I don't, that's like my biggest fear in life and it has been ever since I was younger. <sighs> it was so scary. It was so scary. Some of y'all might think, well, why would you go out there alone? Like, blah, blah, blah. well, it's a park with kids around. Like, I don't know. Maybe that was dumb of me, but I won't be doing it again. But I just wanted to explain that story because it's relevant especially right now. So if you ever think about going anywhere alone, like don't do it. Bring at least, at least one other person. It's better to have three than two, but don't ever go alone anywhere. Just don't do it. It's not worth your life. Sorry, that was like so serious, but. And like, I was literally the only one in the park. Like it looked like I was the only one out there because the kids were behind these stone things. Oh, that was so unsettling. Um, so thank you God <laughs> for keeping me safe. Very grateful that I am okay, safe in my home. I'm sure Molly was like, what the heck is happening? But everything's good. But yeah, just stay aware, please. I'm going to a birthday thing in, in like an hour. So I'm gonna start getting ready and Hopefully calm down a little bit. <laughs> All right, I am back. Um, I'm okay now. <laughs> I was talking to Kate for a little bit. So now I am going to a Hotel Indigo to celebrate Sydney's birthday. It's her 21st tonight. So we're just gonna go hang there. I don't really know, I've never been there. So this should be fun. <laughs> Excuse me, what is that? Um. <laughs> All right guys, I am back home now. It's nice to see everyone. I don't know if I updated you guys on this, but I literally packaged it. Like, it was brand new. And I'm not gonna like kind of proud of myself. Right now, I'm trying to continue getting my life together. I have this pile of crap. This is all from what was in my Louis bag. So I need to figure out where to put all of that. I need to put up these clothes. I need to put up those shoes and all this stuff. And then I need to fix my church lanyard thing. I also washed some towels I need to put up. So that's the plan. Let's go. <laughs>
surprise, forgot to end the vlog again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, after that, I don't even remember. That was over a week ago. Was it a week ago? Today's Sunday. I think I just got on the couch and watched some YouTube videos. I don't know. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on Thursday with a what I spend in the week. What I spend during the week video. So get excited. You guys got a little preview of what's to come on Thursday. So you're welcome. All right. See y'all later. <laughs>